Life is undoubtedly hard, as we all know. Whether you've lost a friend, or a close family member, perhaps a neighbor, or even someone you really love. If your heart's been torn at its seams, if you're not where you thought you'd be right now in life, it all hurts, and it can really wreak havoc on how you view life and your perspective and how you are inside. The pressures to do great things every day and live your best life, it engorges us and leaves us in aching pain of continuous dissatisfaction when we don't obtain those unrealistic high standards. It's time to recenter and to connect with your highest self and, and to accept everything that you are right now as beautiful. There was always room and time to grow. It's crazy how there's about 7.9 plus billion people in the world, but it just takes that one person or maybe a couple people to leave you absolutely crushed and feeling more alone than ever before. I'm here to let you know that you will be okay and your feelings are valid and you're actually far from being alone. If you have a job or a hobby or if you are in some type of spotlight, it can be hard to really disconnect from your presence and just take care of yourself how you deserve to be taken care of. This is episode one on self-healing. This is my personal journey on how I've learned to pick up pieces once they have shattered and fallen. I'm here for you. We will grow together and we will learn together. Life is miraculous and it has a funny way of working. So come along this journey with me. I hope this helps you along your way, and let's take the first steps to self-healing together. Self-talk is one of the most important aspects of self-care. It sets the tone for your day, hours, and minutes ahead of you. I remember being 13, and looking into a mirror and repeating to myself, I hate you, I hate your face, and I hate this life. I am so ugly. And I stared into my eyes as I said that. And um, I never forgot that moment. Society is not very kind. It's, it's pretty cold and it's pretty harsh on us, especially women, but everybody goes through this. So, you learn to cultivate your own brand of kindness. Erase comparison. It'll only bog you down. Understand that you are unique and you have special features that make you stand out from the crowd. They should be celebrated every day. And nobody can be you. Even if they try their hardest, you are the original. And you may even make a ripple effect in the pond of confidence for others. Once your self-talk is restored, find support. Whether it's your friends, family, pets, maybe therapy. Research and learn. Look into interpersonal communication. Your animals around you sense your energy and can change your moods every single day. Give them extra love. Learn new skills to better communicate and stay on the same page as others and yourself. Put on your favorite music and dance around real silly like nobody's watching. Understand and really grasp the fact that only you can control yourself. You have no say over what someone else feels or thinks or their actions and you can't change anyone in this world. But why would you want to do that anyway, right? There's only seven real things you can control, and that is what you eat, how much attention you pay to things, like your breathing, how much sleep you get, your exercise, and the way you talk to yourself, and, and what you think and consume on a daily basis, and your gratitude. 
you have the power over so many elemental, fundamental parts of being happy, healthy, alive, and human. Don't take that for granted. And remember that you have the opportunity every minute to change your perspective and change how you think. Even if it just means taking a walk, even if it means opening a window or lighting a candle or doing anything that feels good for you. You have that power. You are in control. And although it may feel like you have no control, that things are really uncertain, embrace that because that's when real change will happen. Surrendering is not easy and you will hit bumps in the road. It'll get really dark and you'll be afraid and not know who to turn to, but it's important that you ride this wave and you do it with grace and you just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel eventually and there's no need to wonder when you will break light. Just know it's coming up ahead. Feel your feelings and accept that it's okay to be vulnerable. We don't all have to have a hard exterior and a tough shell. It's okay to be soft. We're not robots. Express yourself and decompress and cry it out for however long feels right, but make sure that you're not staying stuck in that mindset. You were hurt and the wound is open. It's fresh and new. Grieve. Grieve that loss. It's all right. But once you're done grieving, make sure to remember the good times and the positives of that situation because everything is a learning experience and you shouldn't regret anything in life because you are growing and you are learning more about yourself every single day. Kiss yourself. Be kind to yourself. Show yourself love right now. You were hurt. You are not hurt anymore. And you should be proud of yourself for that. Most of my mornings have consisted of a fasting breakfast, which I start probably around 11.30 to 12 o'clock. I like fresh fruits in the mornings, one of my favorite breakfast foods, and maybe some carbs. I love me some carbs with a little bit of butter. Okay, alright, maybe a lot of bit of butter, but it's alright, it's all about balance. I like my chai tea, which I'm going to show you guys how I prepare it. It's my favorite tea to have in the morning. It puts me in a really great mood. It makes me feel warm and just so alive. I'm going to show you guys how I make it. I start with boiling my water. I go ahead and steep my tea. Toast my toast. This apple is us. It's just like us. We have bruises. We have nicks, cuts, bumps dirt, we have a history, we have a future and a past, but it's whole and it's it's one and no matter what, it still is nourishing and good for the body. I love the food I eat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up my apple. I tend to like my food to look very aesthetic. It's just what I prefer. I don't mind eating food that doesn't look aesthetic. It's not, you know, a necessity, but I do enjoy my food when it does look appetizing. I like to eat apples and bananas, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting my fruit. I'm going to add a splash of vanilla extract into my tea. I usually do maple syrup, but we did not have any, so normal syrup will work for now. I'm going to go ahead and continue steeping this hot tea, add a little splash of almond milk, and then I like to add some cocoa powder. I like a little bit of chocolate in my tea. Once it hits the bottom, it turns kind of into like a chocolatey chai, and it's so amazing. So adding a couple dashes of cinnamon and four jumbo marshmallows to top it off. 
every morning so far when I remember I, I don't do it every morning if I'm busy but when I do remember I'm trying to make it an everyday thing to journal I like to put on some some high frequency positive music I do like singing bowls I do like listening to just frequencies that get my mind in the right in the right mindset of journaling I'm just gonna flip through a couple pages to show you guys that this is something I really take seriously I put a lot of um, thought and effort into each journal I believe in manifesting truths and manifesting what you want your life to be let me know down below in the comments if you guys are interested in journaling and if you would want a dedicated video as to my my layout, how I journal. Um, I'll just give you guys a sneak peek. Every morning I start off with three to four gratitudes, what I'm thankful for, what I appreciate, and what I don't want to take for granted, like sleeping in my bed, having a good night, waking up. Um, without a headache, whatever it may be, I start a new page and leave it there. Sometimes I like to do aromatherapy. I do have essential oils and I am working on a new fragrance so I keep them close by and I just smell them when I feel a little stressed or want to be creative. On this particular day, my skin was feeling dry. I could have been crying the night before so I want to make myself feel better. I'm doing a face mask and it could be anything that you have on hand, even if it's just some mashed up avocado baby. Alright, take a look around. What are your surroundings like? What's your room like? Mine was messy, very disorganized, uncleanly. I had some laundry to do and I couldn't take this anymore. Today, I'm cleaning this shit up. Everything has a place where it belongs. If it's out of place, put it back. Everything should be wiped down, especially given the time that we're in right now. And any animals and pets should be taken care of. My fish back there, he's got half a tank. I gotta do something about that. Old papers, throw them away. There's no point in saving them. They're past. Papers about the future, file them so that in the future, you'll know about it. Don't forget about it, maybe make a sticky note or something, but you don't have to worry about it right now. It's not that important. I really like to organize my stuffed animals on my bed. Cheers, I'm having a protein drink, trying to work on upping my caloric intake. Wow, wow. <laughs> have fun, you guys. Have fun with everything you do. Try and smile all the time when you can because... You don't want to waste this life being sad or frowning or dwelling on things that you just can't change. What you can change though is your surroundings. So I did reorganize even more than I show in this video. I did really do a deep cleaning, deep organization of my vanity here and my workspace and everything just so that I can have clarity and I can kind of have a fresh start to my new year and to my days. All right, I love this quote, life is better when you're laughing, because it is. Life is so much better when you're having fun and when you're eating good food. So this was the next day. I'm just trying to show you guys that, you know, you want to switch things up with your diet. You want to make sure you're hitting all the colors on your plate and um, that you're fueling up because a lot of the time, if you suffer from anxiety or depression or, you know, just um, life issues, you, you forget to eat and you forget to take care of yourself. So make sure you make time for self-care. Alright, this was the after. It's not perfect. I still have some dirty laundry I have to do. But that's okay because we're breaking it down and we're taking it one step at a time. And that's what really matters. My room looks far different from these clips anyway. Alright, it's time to work on the body. Get moving. If you uh, can't get moving right now, I'm sure a certain part of your body can get moving, whether it's your brain, whether it's just your upper body, whether it's just your lower body. I know we are not all able to jump around and do jumping jacks, 
So move what you can move. Do a crossword puzzle or a Sudoku or challenge yourself with brain games. Um, any way you can exercise a part of your body. If you want, let me know down in the comments if an exercise video is what you are interested in, and I'll think about making a video dedicated to that for you. You guys know I'm on this fitness journey of gaining weight, and it has been a long time coming. I feel like I've been on this journey for years and years, but my metabolism and the way my body is set up, girl, it just burns everything. So I'm doing little tips and tricks here and there to up my weight, and I will make a dedicated video if that is what you guys are interested in. Let me know. Exercising is very much like life. It feels terrible sometimes. You want to give up most of the time. It's exhausting. It's sweaty. It's not that fun. It's really not. But the results that you get from exercising and from going through those struggles is incredible. You're going to get a rush. You're going to feel great. You're going to feel productive and proud of yourself. And honestly, even if you wanted to, you can break it up into little bits at a time. You don't have to do a whole hour or two workout. Make like 20 minutes during the morning, 20 minutes during the night. And before you know it, you're going to be ripped. You're going to be shredded. But most of all, you're going to be fucking strong. There are going to be times where you do want to give up and where your body does give up. But I want you to remember my voice saying, you got this. You got this. You can do anything you set your mind to. You are capable of anything and everything as long as you're opening your heart and letting it in. Don't think that you can't do something because you can. Here I'm just doing some weighted squats. It's only five pounds. If you want to work with bands, you can work with bands. Um, I didn't want to go too heavy because um, I'm kind of going through something with my health, which I will mention at the end of this video. But yeah, this is a small little glimpse of my workout. All right, well, this part of my video is not going to be voiceover. Um, with my spirituality, with my health, um, and just overall growth, although it's beautiful, it's a great thing, it's, I know in the end, it'll be a positive awakening and it, it already has been, and, and I'm really grateful for everything that I do go through because it, it makes me a stronger, independent, powerful woman. But, there's a but. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. This journey, this road that I'm on, this path, that's Daniana. Becoming the person that I meant to be is not easy and there are some challenges that I'm facing right now that are just really tough and I guess I just wanted to share these experiences with you and relate to you if you are going through a really tough time right now and it's like life throws you a ton of curveballs and 
you're just expected to swing and knock it out of the ballpark every time, you know? Obviously, we know that's not realistic. You can't hit a home run and out of the ballpark all the time. Um, but it doesn't matter because you tried and you showed up in your uniform and that's all that matters. I know these like analogies I'm saying are like talking about baseball, but you get the bigger picture, right? Today, I have a huge obstacle ahead of me. It could be worse. I'm grateful that it is just this. Um, I'm grateful for the severity of it. It's not like super serious, but it but it is to me. It's serious to me. Today I am having my first of two vein ligations. So one to stop and then the other one started. My patience has been really tested lately. And shh, sweetie. Hey. Shh. So, um, just bear with me. They're animals and this is what they do. <sighs> yes? Can I come in? Sure. What time are you leaving? And the day is here that it's surgery time and I gotta stay strong. But it's hard. Especially doing this like all alone when all you want is support and a hand to hold and you don't got it. So I've been there, I've done that with the crying. I'm I'm just I just tend to be an emotional person. I tend to be sensitive and I'm tired of people thinking that being vulnerable is a bad thing. It's not. Being vulnerable is one of the strongest things you could ever do. And if people don't understand that, that's a problem within themselves because it takes a lot of courage to do what I do every single day to do what I do. It takes a lot of goddamn strength and and I am realizing every day how special I am and how much I've been through and have gotten through and succeeded and surpassed all my all my limits and I know in this video I keep getting pretty emotional and then flipping flipping the the cards and turning things around and smiling and laughing like it kind of makes me look like okay girl like you got a loose screw but but honestly the screws have never been tighter and I feel so myself and I just feel like everything happens for a reason and what is meant for me will be and I just gotta let go I just gotta let things go and and just focus on me and focus on my health and and I am I'm doing that and it feels great even though there are times I'm scared there are times I feel lonely and and I do long for someone to you know help me through shit like this but I got myself and I and I have my own back and but that's all I can do. And I really am that bitch. Like, to be a better person and to inspire and feels really fucking good. And, um, life puts these obstacles in front of you to, to show you how strong you really are. So... So I got this today. I got this tomorrow and I got this the day after. Um, 
self-care and understanding your self-worth and um, just introspection and really just talking to yourself and getting to know who you are when nobody's around and when the camera's off even and just real life shit you know real life shit and i've always been very authentic here on my channel i have never lied to you guys i have never i'm not that type of person i am very just straight up and honest with you guys so yeah it feels really good to um be putting out content that i'm proud of and that means a lot to me and that could really touch you guys and help you heal because um i'm realizing I, I myself had old wounds and old habits that I needed to break and I, and I needed to get rid of and that's just not who I am anymore and it's like a weight lifted off my shoulder and there are days that I do have a, a couple doubts. You guys mean so much to me and... I've been getting questions like, why is your channel tanking? Why don't you have views anymore? You used to be so poppin'. And if I wasn't the strong woman that I am today, if this if this was like Shayna Lee a couple of years back, I would really seriously get hurt even just with those questions. I would feel attacked. I would feel sorry for myself. I would want to back back out and hide under a rock and just like seclude and self-isolate but because I have grown into this gorgeous soul and being and woman I confront that shit and I say hey it's out of my control I can't force you guys to subscribe I I can't fake it till I make it and you know put out this content that everybody and their grandma is putting out to get clout and to get viral and to get famous i can't do that because that's not me that's not who i am and that's not who i was like i've never been that type of person to do it for the clout um so i've come to a point where i'm like i'm gonna post what i want i'm gonna post what feels good and what inspires people to do good out in this world because what we need are good people good decent genuine authentic real people who show unconditional undivided love and attention to things that they care about and they use their time wisely and that's all i want to put out into this world and i'm i'm doing this 2021 i'm doing this period what's what's out there for you will come to you in due time don't don't rush the process don't pressure the process don't just be here have a today have a right now maybe have a tonight are you gonna take a bath tonight are you gonna light some candles tonight are you gonna do some reading tonight are you gonna do a face mask tonight are you gonna do a hair mask tonight are you gonna paint your nails tonight self-care baby introspection learning about yourself who you are when the lights are out when nobody's around in the dark how do you process things how was your mental health how was your spiritual health how was your physical health i'm checking it off the list i'm checking it off the list i realize where the toxicities are and i remove myself from situations like that always remember you have the birthright to remove yourself from a situation that you are not that does not serve you you have the birthright to speak your mind when you want to and to be quiet and silent when you want to nobody can force you to speak or talk or say anything that you don't want to say and you can speak up when you want to speak up because you should be heard two it's your body anything that you are doing to your body that's you nobody needs to know what you do to your body but you nobody feels what your body feels but you period except in my circumstance i want to share what's happening to my body and what i'm going through you know what i mean because i want to i want to teach 
and I want you to grow with me and um, also I just have a presence online so I kind of feel a little obligated to do stuff like this because um, and I enjoy it I enjoy expressing myself in this way this way helps me to cope it helps me like a form of therapy it helps me with my creative juices it helps me um, connect with you guys and really um, just have this little home away from home where people understand me um, and sometimes they don't and if you don't feel free to scram I'm gonna be everyone's cup of tea but that's perfectly fine because I'm someone's favorite type of tea and that's all that matters to me so I think for right now I'm gonna end this chapter no we not we not out of chapter yet baby we still flavoring pages I think I'm gonna end this episode here and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video i will do more videos like this as well i don't know how long this will continue for um probably like maybe a couple more um episodes after this to add to this little series um but it's all just a journey this is a long journey that happens very quickly and I just found some clay. Maybe I'll make something with clay today. Or I'll make some jewelry or something. Anyway, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys when I see you.